Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you as a newbie beginner who's never had a business before the three essential steps you need to take to build a successful business. So you may have seen some of the success stories uh, that I talk about, like Mike, who started off with one product uh, in my platinum coaching program. It was doing 4K a month after a few months. Fast forward to the next year, next couple years, he did 83 grand in that year. Year after that, he did quarter of a million, uh, uh, just within 10 months, by the end of the year, I think he did 300K. Uh, and then this year, he's on track to do half a million. So how did Mike, someone who'd never had a business before, just worked for the NHS, build this business from scratch, and just a normal guy gets such an amazing result? Another example, Angelina, uh, stay-at-home mom, two twin boys, just wanted to look after them, spend more time with them, and give her partner a bit of a break because he was stressed, might lose his job during the pandemic. She built a six-figure Amazon business to support her partner's income and uh, bring in more money while being able to look after her kids. How did she do it? How did Blake launch a product that does 10K a month? Right, these are all just normal people who've started a business and got real results. How did they do it? Well, I'm gonna show you today. So first thing to think about when you, when you wanna build a business, probably it's the reason why you're actually watching this video is really because you want to give yourself a better life right that's that's what you're really aiming for right overall something right now you're not satisfied with it in your life you want it to be better it could be that you want to quit your job and, and do something else it could be that you want to live somewhere else you want to have more holidays maybe you want a better lifestyle maybe you want to be able to give money away or, or help people or there's always going to be a reason why you want to get started, why you typed into YouTube how to build a business, right? So what do we need to be able to do all those things? Very simple, right? We need money. There's nothing wrong with wanting to earn more money. Like, that's totally cool. All you have to do is provide more value to the planet, do more cool stuff for people so they pay you, and you can get as much money as you want. So how do we get more money? Uh, well, as a new business owner, there's three areas you really need to work on if you want this to be a reality, not just a pipe dream. The first one is mindset. My iPad's playing a joke on me. Here we go, mindset. You need to develop a good, strong mindset. Now, you've probably heard business owners uh, and uh, gurus or whoever talk about building a good mindset. They don't always explain what it really means and, and, and what it contains. Like, what does a good mindset consist of? Well, the reason you need a good mindset is because if you don't have a strong mindset, then you'll never get started in the first place. You might see some opportunities out there in, in the world, but you'll just be like, nah, that's probably not for me. You'll be blind to those opportunities, which could make you a load of money, but you'll just go, oh, I don't think I'm capable. Or you'll get started with an opportunity, but then the second the going gets tough, you'll quit, right? In fact, most of my success stories from clients who built Amazon businesses didn't get lucky in the beginning. It was a hard slog for a while. And the reason why they got success eventually is because they just didn't quit. So how do you just not quit? Well, first of all, you need belief. That's where it all starts. You have to believe, first of all, in yourself, right? That you have the capabilities to do this. Uh, and you also need to believe in the opportunity. You need to believe that you can make money on Amazon. If you don't believe in those two things, then it's just never going to work. Another thing you need is self-efficacy. Self-efficacy. This is belief in your capabilities, right? And this belief will help you stay in the game. So, for example, uh, Colonel Sanders, who launched KFC... Uh, came up with this recipe, 11 herbs and spices on this fried chicken. Legend has it that he, he spoke to 1,009 businesses to try and franchise KFC until he finally got some success. So the question is, why did he keep going 1,009 times? Why didn't he just go after, say, the 50th time or the 400th time? Why didn't he just go, this isn't working? Well, because he had self-efficacy. He thought, well... I can make this happen. Right? I can do this. I'm going to keep going until it's done. You have to develop that level of just pure arrogance right? if you want to succeed. The third part of having a good mindset is state management. 
essentially, state management is being able to control your emotions, or in other words, not letting them get the better of you. Now, we all have subconscious instincts. It could be the instinct to just lie on the sofa and watch TV. It could be the instinct to eat, right? You have to take control of your instincts and not let them take control over you. In other words, when you feel like crap and you're having a bad day, do you succumb to that and not do any work, or do you just get on with the work anyway? This is state management. Now, state management comes a lot easier when you have strong beliefs. For example, uh, let's say you're a mother and you have a kid, right? Some days, you're not going to wake up and feel really motivated to be the best mother ever. You're not going to be like, I really want to feed this kid the perfect food. I really want to do the best things for them. I really want to, you know, uh, just be the best example I possibly can. Some days you're going to wake up, you're going to be tired, you're going to be grumpy, or you're going to be annoyed at your partner, annoyed at your family, annoyed at the world. Uh, on those days, do you just ignore your kid and not feed him? Of course not. You still do it, even though you don't feel like it. Why? Because you believe you have to. Otherwise, the kid will die. You have to have that same kind of intensity of belief with your business. You have to believe you have to do it. And if you do, state management becomes easier. But still, you have to uh, learn how to feel empowered when you don't feel empowered. You have to feel certain when you don't feel certain. Right? You have to be able to take control of your emotions. And that will push you forward to success. Final thing with mindset is goal focus. Goal focus. So what's goal focus? Well, it's being crystal clear on your outcome, figuring out why you're doing this, getting really specific about why you're doing this, and getting clear on, on what that means in terms of numbers, like a black and white goal. I want to earn 5k a month is a goal. I want to earn lots of money is not a goal. How do you know when you've hit that? Right, so having a goal gives you a clear way of knowing when you've, when you've got to the destination and it helps you move in the right direction. Then everything else you do will have a purpose and you'll feel accomplished when you complete it. So if you can get your mindset right, then you're starting off on the right foot and if you continue in that direction, much more chance you're going to be successful. All right, so mindset. Is mindset enough to build a business? Absolutely not. Right, you can't just close your eyes and visualize that you're going to get results and then Lamborghini appears in the driveway. You've got to do stuff. So what stuff do you need to do? Well, step two is to learn skills. You have to learn skills. So when it comes to building an Amazon business, there's three skills. What are those skills? Well, the first one is product research. Product research. So... First of all, let's talk about what a skill actually is. So a skill is like a tool in your tool belt to help you get stuff done. Now, with product research, obviously, you've got to find hot products that are going to sell really well on your Amazon account, right? So it's like having, I don't know, a hammer, right, to build your house. Without the hammer, it's going to be very difficult, right? So product research is knowing which products have high demand and low competition don't uh, have too much hassle to be able to sell them, like they're low hassle products, and there's gaps in the marketplace. If you can understand how to research these products, analyze these niches, make good decisions about which products to sell, you'll have a much more potential to actually make money. All right, so you need that skill to put the right products into your inventory. The second skill you need is sourcing. Sourcing. So what's sourcing? Okay, well now you found these opportunities to make money with your product research. Right, you know that, I don't know, the spatula, for example, might be the next winning product for you. Well, that means nothing until you've actually got some stock in your hands that the customers go, yep, that's the one I want to buy. You have to source a spatula that is valuable to the marketplace and they're willing to pay for. Right, that's the secret. You might have the best product in the world to you, but does the customer think it's the best product? Well, that's sourcing. So finding a great supplier who can help you add value to the marketplace so you can charge more and make profit with the stock. That's sourcing. Third skill, marketing. Marketing. So marketing is 
actually where you make all your money. Now you've got your inventory, you know you've sourced a product that has demand, now you've got to show it to the marketplace. So it's really about demonstrating the value that you've added to the marketplace and getting the product visible, all right? So how do you demonstrate value? Well, you create an amazing listing on Amazon. You get loads of reviews. So when the customer sees the listing, they see the page, they go, wow, this really is a valuable product and here's why, I can see why, all right? To get the product visible, you can use advertising, you can use SEO, you can use keywords, you can do content marketing. There's loads of ways to get the product visible so customers can see it and it's on page one and then they'll click it and buy it. If you do all these things right, you can get five, 10, 20, 30 sales a day and that's how the business starts to grow. So you can see, without these skills, you'll get nowhere. Right? If your product research sucks, you'll launch rubbish products that don't sell. If your sourcing sucks, then no one's gonna buy the product you offer because it's not adding any value. And if you don't have the marketing skill, well then no one's gonna see your products, no one's gonna see why they're so valuable and no one's gonna give you any money, right? So you need these skills coupled with the mindset to actually build the business. It's like having the hammer, right? You need that to be able to build the house. All right, on to step three. Step three, possibly the most important step, is strategy. Strategy. So what is strategy? Well, strategy really is the steps. The steps you need to take to hit the goal, right? So which steps do you need to take to get there? And which steps do you need to avoid? Now, these are really, really big questions. If you take the right steps to get there, you could get there in say three to six months and you could hit your goal and change everything and your life is just massively improved. If you take even one wrong step, it could set you back weeks, months, maybe even years. I know people have spent thousands on the wrong product at the wrong time because they just had the wrong strategy and it set them back a year because now they need to find the cash again, get started again, and the whole thing's a nightmare. So strategy is crucial. So how do you build a great strategy? Well, there's a few steps to building a great strategy. First thing you need is to set the goal. Remember we talked about mindset, you need to be goal focused. Well, this is where you create the goal, right? And we're gonna start to map out all the things that goal includes. So for example, how much money do you wanna earn? That's supposed to be a pound sign, by the way. How much money do you wanna earn? Where do you wanna live on the planet? That's supposed to be a planet. Right? Uh, what kind of house do you want to live in, for example? Whatever is important to you should be tied to your goal. This makes you more focused, makes you more excited, and just gets you clear on really why you're doing all of this. Because, you know, it's not easy. You want to be excited and motivated. When you're clear on where you want to go, the next thing you want to do is get clear on where you're starting. Where are you starting from? Like, where are you now? How much experience have you had building a business? How much cash do you have? right? Um, what's going on in your life right now? How much time do you have? What things do you not like about your life at the moment? What things do you like about your life at the moment? This gives us the starting point, right? And so when you have your goal and your starting point, the next thing you can do is figure out what's keeping you from being at the goal. Like what's missing? Why aren't you making 5k a month? Why don't you have half a million a year business? Well, it's probably because there's a few roadblocks along the way. Or in other words, just things that you need to do to get there, right? So for example, what would be the first thing you need to build your Amazon business and hit the goal? The first roadblock that, that's facing you right now. Well, it could be that you don't know what product to sell. That's a very common one, right? Okay, you need a product to sell. You may also need to open your Amazon account. All right, you may also need to understand how the tax stuff works. All right, cool. All right, so let's say you fix all those things. What do you need next? Well, now you need to know how to find a supplier. You need to know how to get the product imported from China. Uh, you may need to know uh, how to get it through customs, right? And then you need to know how to get it marketed and get it to sell and grow your brand and get reviews and get the listing done. And you know, these are all the things you need to know to actually get there. These are things that will stop you, but they're also the steps you need to take, which really brings us back to strategy this is your strategy to learn these things and overcome these roadblocks all right once you've done this and you understand the goal where you're starting from the roadblocks the final thing with strategy is to create a plan a clear plan for how to hit the goal 
Now, this is actually something I can help you with. This is what I do on Amazon Accelerator calls. Right, we'll go through this whole process. We'll start with the goal, look at where you're starting from, figure out the roadblocks that are stopping you from hitting the goal. Then together we come up with a plan to help you get there in the fastest way possible, as in three to six months, not five years. Because the strategy is the bit that's difficult. Now you might need to work on mindset. You might need to learn skills, right? You might need to understand which steps to do first. This is what we'll, we'll do. So if you want some help creating the strategy, click the link in the description. You can book in your Amazon Accelerator call and we can go through this process together and make sure you get it right. Because if you get this right, then you can build a really successful business. All right, so these are the three steps. Mindset, skills, strategy. If you get that, you'll be able to build your business, earn more money and create a better life for you and your family. If you want, click on the link in the description, book in an Amazon Accelerator call. We can go through this process together. I can even help you research your own product to sell on your Amazon account. I can do the research for you. I can even help you list it. I can even help you get it imported from China. And I can even give you one-to-one -one coaching to help you build the business as well. Click the link, book in your call. We can have a chat. Other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you, gave you some inspiration. And subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, and I'll catch up with you very soon.